like that. Oh, he puts it in. One, two, three. He makes it quick and easy. Fantastic goal, really it was. Makes a slow throw. Oh, he's got a man for all goal here. It's a stunning goal from Omi. Hey fellas, how's everyone doing? And welcome to a new FIFA 14 team review. In this episode, I will present you the national team of Portugal. Even if they are a 4.5 stars team, they're just amazing. They are right up there near Real Madrid and Bayern München in my top three in FIFA 14. They have, of course, Cristiano Ronaldo. They have another big and good striker called Eder. They have a new addition called Bruma, and they are just incredible with a 4-2-2-2 possession game or with a 4-3-3 um, counter-attack game. Starting with the goalkeeper, this team looks safe and strong. Rui Patricio isn't the best goalkeeper in the game, but he isn't the worst. He has nice stats and you won't have um, problems in this position of the field. Regarding the defender line, you have Pepe and Bruno Alves. They are strong, they are big. They don't have the pace like Ramos or Thiago Silva, but they get the job done, so you don't have to worry about that. The lateral defenders like uh, Coentrao and uh, Joao Pereira, they are fast, they are good in that position. And even if they don't have the strength, I didn't have um, problems defending with them. So in this compartment of the field, I felt very safe with the Portugal. In the midfield, I had a big question mark regarding my second midfielder, who should I pick? I was always thinking about Varela or Moutinho. Moutinho has very nice passing um, stats, but he just doesn't have the strength. And in, a, in that position on the field, you need to be able to push your opponent away. Varela has uh, five stars at his weak foot and four stars skill moves. He is incredible from this point of view and he has the strength. He has 76 strength. Joe Moutinho has only 60, so I picked Varela. The other midfielder that I picked for this position is Miguel Veloso. He doesn't have the physical attributes to excel, but still, he is decent enough and his creative abilities like passing and long shot are very good and you want that from a central midfielder. In the 4-2-2-2, I chose as right attacking midfielder Bruma. He is incredibly fast. He is agile. He has four stars at the skill moves. He can make happen a lot of things. He can go for a cross or he can cut inside and finish with a shot. He is very, very good. And he is a new addition to Portugal. He wasn't there until one month ago when the newest uh, update was made to the rooster. As a left attacking midfielder, I chose Nanin. He's a joy to play with. He has five star skill moves, four stars at his weak foot. He's able to cut inside and finish or to cut outside and make a da dangerous cross. So he is as good at creating chances as he is at finishing them. As strikers, of course, you have Cristiano Ronaldo. He is the best player in the game. You can use him at absolutely everything. Good for counterattacks, good for a possession game. But the other player that was a surprise for me was Eder. He is a big striker, six foot two. He has decent speed, plus 80, and he has four stars at his weak foot and four star skill moves. You can play a lot on the um, side of Ronaldo in attack and you can finish with Ronaldo or you can cross to Eder because he is very strong and tall and he will make those headers happen. As my second formation for Portugal, I chose the 4-3-3 defensive. I kept the same midfield with Varela and Miguel Veloso, but I changed in attack. I kept the Nani as a CM and I left only my very very fast players Ronaldo and Bruma as wingers and kept Ede as a central striker. This second formation is more oriented for counter-attacks so you just want to press the counter-attack tactic while using this formation. It's 
amazing to play counter attack with Portugal because you have Ronaldo, you have Bruma, they are very fast on the wing and they will always get free on the counter attacks if you make a long pass on them. So guys, this was my team review of Portugal. They are an amazing, amazing team. They have incredible players, especially Ronaldo, especially Nani. They can make happen so many things. They have five-star skill moves. It's a joy to play with the 4-2-2 position game or you can play the 4-3-3 counter-attack style. I hope you enjoyed this episode. Make sure to drop a comment below and tell me what team you would like to see in my next episode. Let's try and aim for 80 likes at this video. Don't forget to subscribe. My name is Obi. See you next time.